great speaking with you, my friend. The last time I spoke with you was one-on-one when you were here in Toronto for SummerSlam, which was an amazing event. I got to talk to you. I talked to Alexa Bliss. I actually talked to the both of you together, and it's, wow, who would have thought the world would change as much as it has? You, of course, doing all the amazing things in, um, you know, tag team championships, uh, universal championships. Congratulations on that. And, of course, with Alexa, you know, being controlled, of course, by the Fiend, so many changes. But at least on your side, my friend, some great things. Congratulations on the success that you have had since the last time I've seen you. Oh, man, thank you so much for the kind words. Yeah, it's uh, it's kind of hard for me to even wrap my head around it, you know. It's still, all of this stuff is still so surreal to me, you know, from a little country boy from Cheryl's Ford, North Carolina, turned into a global entity that is a WWE superstar, man. It is, uh, so it's a lot to take in still. <laughs> you know, one of the big things, of course, people have noticed your physique, you've leaned out more muscle, you're quicker, you're faster. I know you, when you and I spoke, we talked about the fact that you being such a big man, but being able to move quickly, and you just said it's genetics. Now, my friend, it's like you got a rock on your back. What do you contribute in the leaning down, but still possessing strength, and, of course, coming up with even more speed? So a lot of it, yeah, I mean, uh, a lot of it was just evolution, per se, you know. Um, coming from the world of strongman, I uh, used to be a world's strongest man competitor, uh, 2012, I was tipping the scales at like 418 pounds, which in, in that sport was great. The bigger I was, the stronger I was, the easier it was to move weights around. Now turn forward almost a decade here later now as being a WWE superstar, and you see some of these matches that I have. I go out there, and, and, and you know we wrestle 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, so it's a completely different type of cardiovascular training. Plus, it's such an evolving sport you know uh, you look at entertainment as a whole around the world and there's so many different avenues for people to choose what they want to watch and be entertained by that you constantly got to stay ahead of the, the curve you know and it's what can i do to bring the absolute best product to our show for our fans the people that tune in week after week to see the monster among men go out there and destroy stuff and you know i figured the better i look the better the product's going to be. The more shape I can get into, I can wrestle longer. I have more stamina. You know, people tune in. They're they're spending now with WrestleMania being open back up. We're having 20, 25,000 people down here in Tampa this weekend. People are paying hard-earned money to come and watch me perform. Why not give them the best brawn that I can give them? Let's talk about your WrestleMania match. Shane McMahon, who can move, and he's quick. One of the things I love about the storyline is the fact that usually we're used to seeing – Big, powerful people like yourself being the bully, it's reversed. You've got the littler guy who's bullying bullying and making fun of the bigger guy. What do you think about this storyline? Because, I mean, a guy like me, I mean, I'm, I'm, five, I'm 5'11", but, you know, I'm like 235, 240, especially when I'm working out hard. I can get really big, but I feel like there are times I got smaller people bullying on me. You know, this storyline, uh, it hits kind of home, like close to home for me. You know, uh, my whole life I've been larger than nature in Canada, I like to say it as jokingly, but I've always been bigger. You know, at 17 years old, I graduated high school. I was six foot five, 305 pounds when I was 17. I mean, uh, at 12 years old, I was 200 pounds ish. So I've always been big, and I went through a phase where I was really, really chubby and stuff like that. And I dealt with all this. I had people call me fat, say I was never going to amount to anything. I had teachers say that I was stupid and things. And, you know, it, 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 it's rekindled something inside of me, a drive that got me to where I am now. And, and I think it's also resonating with a lot of fans, with a lot of people that have gone through the same thing in their lives. You know, like I said uh, the other week on Monday Night Raw, I'm not just going to fight Shane for me. I'm going to sh- fight Shane for everybody that's ever been told they're not good enough, that's been told they're stupid, been called fat, been picked on, you know, for no reason. And that's what I feel. I've been singled out for for whatever reason, and, and, and Shane McMahon's getting some laughs out of it. But uh, you know, Saturday the laughing ends. Looking forward to that. I know we're going to have to wrap, wrap this up soon, but what do you think about two days, WrestleMania, being done live, virtual? I mean, in a lot of ways, the way the production and the matches, this is very historic. 
Yeah, so it is, and that's, about, like I said, talking earlier uh, about evolution and constantly staying ahead of the curve, and WWE does such a phenomenal job of bringing the best product we possibly can to our fans around the world, and you've seen what, what short notice last year, what we made happen with WrestleMania, and now again this year, uh, but allowed to have fans back. I think it's going to be an unbelievable experience. I, I, I'm chomping at the bit for my music to hit the whole stadium roar with me and walk out and feel that energy again. That's something, it's something you can't describe. It's a feeling that I've never got doing anything else in my entire life. When you walk out and the entire place goes crazy because you're there, it's special. And I've missed it. It's been over a year, over a year since I've heard the WWE universe live. And man, I tell you what, I am looking forward to it. I hope everybody stays safe, has fun. Has an awesome time, man. I'm like I said, I'm sitting on the balcony here in beautiful Tampa, Florida. Look out over the bay, man. It's awesome down here. It's supposed to be great this weekend. And I think all in all, man, it's just going to be what we do. It's putting smiles on people's faces. Everybody that's going to be here, the millions and millions of people around the world that are going to be watching. And here we go, baby. It's WrestleMania. I'm looking forward to seeing you get your hands on Shane McMahon in a cage looking forward to all the excitement and fun and more importantly i'm looking forward in the future to seeing another world championship around your waist and in your resume my friend thank you so much for this have a great time during wrestlemania because i know i'm gonna have a great time watching it saturday and sunday cheers thank you very much and we'll see you soon